I'm Eileen with Ego Classroom, and today I'm going to show you how to set up the sand and gravel groundwater flow model that's available to check out through Eagle's Lending Station. The model will come housed in a large plastic carrying case. Remove the model from the case and place it on the table. Remove any of the accessories stored in the rear of the tank or the case on the table and lay them out where you can see them. Now you're ready to set the model up. Note that you will need both an electrical supply and a source of water to use the model, so make sure that you're near an outlet and that you have access to water supply or a bucket of water. Insert the black valve into the drain hole on the exterior of the model. Close the valve to contain water that will be put into the reservoir later. Next, close the drain valve inside the water reservoir and the river and ocean valve located in the discharge area. The model comes with an aquarium pump. Take the pump out of the box and assemble the tube. You do not need to install the filter. Place the pump in the back left side of the model where it will deposit water onto the plastic platform in the recharge area. Ensuring that the outside drain valve is closed, begin filling the water reservoir to the fill line located on the side of the model. Always prime the pump with water before plugging it in to protect the pump from burnout. It will take a few seconds to begin flowing, but should be drawing water from the reservoir and flowing onto the recharge platform. Put the pump into the full on position so that water is forced into the sand chamber. You will see the sand becoming wet as the chamber becomes flooded. After the sand is saturated, check the amount of water in the reservoir. If needed, add more water to reach the water fill line. Once the model is saturated, slide the pump to the half on level and open the valve in the river ocean discharge area. This will enable water to start to flow into the reservoir and begin circulation of water within the model. Now that the model is set up, you can start demonstrating groundwater concepts. Start by injecting a few drops of blue dye into the wells to illustrate the water table. You can also use the labels on the model to identify confined and unconfined aquifers as well as various layers that might impede groundwater flow. The model can demonstrate how water is retrieved from wells for human use. The siphon bottle demonstrates low volume pumping from a well, much like a private residential well. To use the low volume pump, insert the tubing from the cap into a well. Gently squeeze the middle of the bottle to release air, then place the bottle on a table. Pumping will begin and will continue slowly while you continue the demonstration. There are also artesian wells and springs on the model that demonstrate how the geology within an aquifer can cause natural upwelling of groundwater to the surface. If the artesian wells don't appear to be flowing, swipe along the holes on the inside of the well with your finger to create a wicking action that begins the flow. One of the most visually interesting features of the model is its ability to demonstrate groundwater flow as well as the movement of pollution underground. Using a pipette, inject a small amount of red dye into the wells on the right side of the model. There should be enough dye that you see a small deposit about the size of a quarter at the base of the wells. This will create a clearly visible dye plume that will move toward the left side of the model. You can use different colors of dye in the septic tank, the leaking underground storage tank, or even directly on the ground to illustrate other sources of contamination that could enter groundwater. The high volume pumping device can be used to illustrate major water withdrawals or ways of cleaning up contaminated wells. To use this device, first evaluate the direction of the two tubes coming off the syringe. Hold the syringe in one hand and the tubing that comes straight off the syringe in the other hand. The tube that comes straight off the syringe will draw water from the wells, while the tube that hangs down perpendicularly is the discharge tube. Attach a suction cup from the parts bag to the back of the water reservoir. Clip the discharge tube into the suction cup so that it discharges into the reservoir. Then place the draw tube into a well and pull water into the syringe. Only draw about halfway up the syringe at once to avoid accidentally pulling the plunger out and spilling the dye. Once you've drawn water out of the well, push down the plunger and the water will flow out the discharge tube into the back reservoir. You can continue to pump water out of the well, illustrating high volume water withdrawals. 
If you're pumping from a contaminated well, this process can also illustrate remediation or cleanup as the concentration of dye diminishes as you pump. At the end of a presentation, when you're ready to empty water from the model, attach the plastic tubing to the discharge valve. Then open the valve on the side of the model and empty the reservoir into a bucket or directly into a sink. Make sure you've turned off the aquarium pump before you start emptying the water. It may be tempting to tip the model over to empty the water out. It's important to never turn the model upside down as this can dislodge the sand underneath and damage the model. If you use dye in your demonstration, you'll close the drain valve, then refill the model with warm, but not boiling water, as though you're going to run another demonstration. Be sure to prime the pump again, then let the model run for about 30 minutes to flush the dye out of the sand. After the model has run for 30 minutes, empty the reservoir again, then you can remove the drain valve and place the model back into the carrying case for storage. Clean and dry all the accessories before returning them to the case with the model. Thanks for learning how to use the groundwater flow model. For more information on how to use this and other materials available through Eagle's Lending Station, visit us at michigan.gov/eagleclassroom.